This is CNN. That's it for tonight's program. I'm Larry King. Now for a look at today's top stories. Let's go back to CNN Center and today's special guest anchor. This is CNN Breaking News. Today is March 27th, Oscar Monday, the year 2000. Live from the CNN Center in Atlanta, this is a CNN Academy Awards update. I'm John Norris. And I'm Jason Christensen. Be sure to tune in to CNN tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern for an Oscar special. It's called Film, Fame, and Fashion 2000. Now here's a look at today's top Oscar stories. After misplates, ballots, and stolen Oscars, statues, this year's Academy Awards ceremony could be the contender for the best drama itself. But all that's forgotten now that the big day has arrived. Finally, preparations are being made outside and inside the Shrine Auditorium. The stars will begin arriving in just a few hours. Meanwhile, Oscar fans who are hoping to witness the red carpet arrivals firsthand on Back Street outside the Auditorium Last week, they were told by police to leave because there, a nearby school complained they were blocking the entrance to the building. The fans were allowed to set up their tents again yesterday morning. Today, they'll be allowed in the bleachers outside the auditorium. This year's Academy Awards nominees for Best Picture include American Beauty, The Cider House Rules, The Green Mile, The Insider, and The Sixth Sense. American Beauty is labeled the favorite by most critics, while The Cider House Rules, another Oscar favorite, dives into a controversial topic. Not quite as prestigious as the Academy Awards, a lot less glamour and a lot less gold, the Independent Spirit Awards, Hollywood's annual celebration of low-budget movies, the high school stare election stole the show. The film took Best Feature Director Alexander Payne, got Best Director, and it won the Best Screenplay. Hilary Skank got the award for Best Female Lead in for Boys Don't Cry. And finally, another award that's hard to be confused with Oscar. The Wild Wild West leads the Golden Raspberry Foundation's list of the worst films of 1999. The remake of the 1960s TV series earned five Razzies, including Worst Director, Screenplay, and Song. It beat out Big Daddy, The Blair Witch Project, and Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, in the Worst Picture category. And its stars, Will Smith and Kevin Kline, got the Razzie for Worst Screen Couple. And that's our report for now. For a check of all the day's news anytime, just head for our website at CNN.com. Live from the CNN Center in Atlanta, I'm Jason Christensen. And I'm John Norris. Have a great day. This is CNN. A new day dawns, and the way you see your world has forever changed. Now, CNN brings in a new era of global news coverage for today's information age. With a new technologically advanced newsroom, adding new talent to its list of distinguished journalists, and introducing programs that inform, educate, and entertain. The next generation of news coverage here today from America's most trusted news source, CNN.